Hello, hello, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this is Undertale, of course, and welcome back to some more Empire Total War. Hmm, uh, the Indians are bringing two first, two second rates and one third rate of the line for me to capture, that's very nice of them. And uh, look at this, Admiral's uh, first rate, look at how many fucking stars he has. This guy has four stars, and uh, then of course the experience, two, three, and five. I think we're gonna get ourselves a little bit of prize money. Well, this is going pretty goddamn well. <laughs> the only ship I've committed to the fight so far is my heavy first rate. I wanna try to get it up in a really good, good ranking, so it's gonna be like extremely powerful. Uh, we already mastered two of the ships, uh, the third rate and one of the second rates, and we're right now working on the, the other second rate. Oh shit. Mm. Okay, I don't really know how to maneuver here. I think we're gonna bring this guy to help, actually. But I think this should be a uh, easy clean-up win, to be honest. Mm -mm, a cool six grand. <laughs> There's no reason to capture them or anything like that. Just take them for the prize money, pretty much, and that's it. Um, because I can repair my ships just in the docks right here. Um, actually, like I said uh, pre in previous episode, uh, a couple of episodes back, we had a big uh, like pirate fight, and I actually managed to make all three ships survive, but they're in super bad condition. They're actually heading over here uh, to utilize the way like it's way closer where you pop out next to India to to these ports than it is for me to go all the way up to Sweden or Norway or Denmark to repair them so that's pretty nice well what the fuck is this C cannon what the okay uh fuck yes good I was afraid sometimes even the shittiest little ship can sink one of your biggest ships and that would totally suck. Ooh, interesting. Uh, yeah, I moved my army here closer and I was hoping it would do this, actually attack me. That is great. Uh, they have a little bit more men, but we should definitely be able to clean this up quite nicely. Uh, especially with the cannons and then whatnot and the riflemen and also of course the lifeguards on foot. Um, yeah. I think it's gonna be a good good battle. Oh yeah, they have... Oh yeah, that's some extra men, exactly. I was thinking, like, how the hell can I have 1300? But yeah, that's, that's a lot of men. So far going pretty well. It's been a little bit of a difficult battle, though. They came from uh, three different angles. Uh, straight forward, uh, from the side, and from the other side. So uh, I've been a little bit busy trying to get root all of them out. But now we got the majority of them. So now we can start focusing over here instead and line our men up better so they can fire more. They're kind of... Kind of spread out here a little bit, but uh, things should be looking better soon. That battle went quite nicely. Fuck man, there's a lot of Russians up here. Damn. Oh, the land... Oh, that's why they left St. Petersburg. Oh, no, 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 no. Why can't I go over? Oh, because they have ships there. I think that's why. Damn. Okay, maybe if I get ships over there, I can kind of deny them that. Power? Yes. No? No? Damn it! Oh, what the fuck, man? <laughs> Damn it! Oh, maybe they did that on purpose, I don't know. They still haven't fixed stuff, though, so they seem to be pretty broke. But I, th I think my army over here, though, this is quite a large force. Eight units of normal line infantry can hold these guys. I think so. Uh, Maybe these foot guards might be a little bit of an issue. That might be the only thing. But uh, we got uh, the regional capital for our taking. That's a lot of militia, but yeah. It was a pretty easy victory. Nice, nice, nice. 36,000 now. Well, that's, that's a lot better. Uh, it's not as good as I was hoping, though. And we had one arriving over here as well. Uh, the good thing here is that uh, the Indians had one of these trade ones. This one, where I'm at right now. So I managed to actually destroy that with my trade ships. Because he had such sh shitty ships uh, guarding it. Basically these kinds of things. Uh, but they're very nice. 31 upkeep only. And it seems like they give just as much trade as these that have 45. So, uh, beautiful. Goddamn beautiful. Actually a bit more. No, that's because we have four ships there compared to three. Do we have four anywhere else? Yes. 
1180, yeah, same, same. So it seems like it doesn't matter what kind of trade ship it is, you always get the same kind of income, uh, depending on how many ships, of course. But that's uh, looking pretty damn fine. And this guy is getting really close to going to Murica's. Fuck yeah! <laughs> looking very good. Now we just have to deal with uh, this situation here and get some men over and take St. Petersburg back and see what the hell these guys are gonna do over here. Uh, they might fall back to try to retake St. Petersburg, that's what I would guess at least. My men aren't super, or the people aren't super happy in here, but uh, they're, they're not too displeased with the Russians, I guess. We made it to the Americas, baby! I don't know why... Oh, yeah, maybe I took the one higher up. I'm not quite sure, but... Uh, yeah, it shouldn't take long before we reach there. <laughs> no, it won't. Ha <laughs> ha Beautiful. The first pirate city shall be ours. <laughs> Let's see, we've had a lot of fleets arrive. Man, we also had that sucker arrive as well, which isn't that great. I'm gonna pull my troops over there, and hopefully he lost lost the sight of us. Oh, oh, okay, those were also okay. Where else did we get? Oh, we got some more over here. That's good, because this is like one of the few places we don't even have more than like two. Oh yeah, nice, even more. And oh yeah, here we go. Here's my my big ass ships that took so much punishment from the pirates. We're gonna repair those guys as well, of course. Yeah, tax income twenty two thousand, trade income thirty seven thousand, army upkeep minus twenty two thousand, navy upkeep minus seventeen thousand, and I have very little town watch actually, almost nothing. Uh, that's a uh, Kind of crazy, but that uh, going pretty goddamn well. Okay, we managed to get St. Petersburg back with pretty much no fight whatsoever. I'm gonna retrain the troops and then we're gonna use most of them to go over here and uh, root out the damn Russians over here. Uh, there's quite a lot of them, man. I gotta be like close to 2,000 men. Uh, they're not attacking though because I got so many men in here, like over a thousand in each, so it would be almost impossible for them to actually take it. I think I could dis dismiss at least one of the units to save some money. I know exactly what I need to though, I'm getting like 19k uh, a turn now, even more when my trade and everything is working. Had a little bit of a Russian incursion up here, uh, causing me issues. So, right now the things to be dealt with this turn is uh, taking my ships and wrecking these pirate ships, taking back my trade port. Sadly though, these guys managed to take my, one of mine <laughs> whilst I left. Oh man, 3,400? How many ships are these? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, I don't know how much they cost, but say, they, I think they cost more less than mine. Actually, maybe sending more trade ships would be more beneficial. I mean, sure, the amount of money I make per ship is less, but having 10 ships and making like fucking 3,000 would be better than just making... 1200 on four ships hmm but uh, also good news in the americas we have reached the first pirate island and it's completely no no oh shit there we go <laughs> what the fuck just happened that was that was really strange we need to retrain some of the men oh oh my own navy went in there well that was fucking weird <laughs> I don't know what the hell's going on here. Okay, I guess let's skip retraining one of the line infantry. Actually, let's skip retraining two of them. And what the hell? What am I? Oh, okay. It's literally only there. We can get out and get on again. And let's go for the next pirate island straight up. Let's see. Yeah, this is the one. I wonder where I can easiest go a inland maybe here there's nothing defending this one either oh there we go nice boom baby nation destroyed pirates fuck yeah okay that's fucking good okay screw those worker worker riots and shit we're gonna start upgrading so we gain more sugar very nice and we're gonna repair this place and then we're probably gonna go for these guys as well, which are uh, Ar Aravakan rebels. Uh, this should increase the amount of money I make from trade as well. And you can already pop up a little bit. 
Uh, let's see what happened with the pirate. The pirates over here actually just fucking disappeared. Okay, well, shit. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> That's really nice. So I have ships here. I don't have any ships protecting here. Nothing here. But I also have ships uh, heading this way to protect this whole area as well since I own all of the trade here. Looking pretty damn good. And uh, now we just need to kind of get the Russians out of under control, I guess, because the Polish Lithuanians, man, they're getting wrecked. Uh, the Prussians, my only allies, are just completely wrecking the Polish at the moment, man. We don't actually have to retrain anything more here. Well, that's beautiful. Then we should just spend money on upgrading these things. We make more money. And we should be heading for this puppy that is completely undefended. I mean, ease win, ease life. Here we go. Okay, how's the, the population is a little bit pissed off, but that don't matter. We're gonna royal uh, or hire two sepoyas, which is basically the Lion Infantrymen for, for this region. It's Indian uh, Lion Infantry, and I believe they're just as good as the normal Lion Infantry, but uh, the arm I have over here is Superior Lion Infantry and uh, the Elite Guards on foot. But that's uh, looking pretty damn well as well. Holy shit. Oh, we got a spice thingy down here as well. 60 pounds of spice. Oh yeah, look at that, 23,000 now all of a sudden. Nice! Yes! One of the bigger Russian forces uh, left this area to the left. And uh, I managed to engage them with my force that took back St. Petersburg. And that force is looking uh, pretty good actually. We should recruit some men here though. Let's go for pretty much all we can do in, in one turn. They still have a pretty large army right there though. Oh, actually, never mind. Both of these two are still here. I thought one of these... Oh my god, so that was just a third army? What the hell? They have a little bit of an army up here. Not, not much though, not to be worried about. We also need to get rid of uh, all these fuckers. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Didn't even lose a ship. To that that's beautiful let's pull those guys back make sure we're retraining as well and let's see if we have one more yeah there we go oh yeah look at that nice i uh, didn't manage to capture any of them though but uh, that works that works let's park these guys here for now for a little oh it didn't even need repair what the hell it didn't even take no damage i mean sure those are weak ships but i would expect them to at least damage it but I guess the trade ships are just too bad for that. Whoa! Whoa, I want a piece of that fucking army! Holy crap! They're really fortifying here versus uh, the Prussians. Oh yeah, the Prussians have a pretty large army set up over here as well. They got some superior line infantry. Uh, oh, that's Grenadiers actually. I thought those were like the, the really cool horsemen. Or, or what am I saying? I, I was I was looking at these actually. I wonder why I can't see them though. I mean, these are allies. I should be able to check out exactly what kind of troops they have. Kind of strange. Oh yeah, don't matter. We should move our spy closer as well, so we can see a little bit better. We should move this guy as well, so we can see what's over here. Pretty much nothing. That's good though. Okay. Okay, here we go. The Russians want to attack 600 versus my 800. Yeah, I'm not gonna out the battle this because I don't want to risk losing this uh, this unit or this army in any way or form. So I'm gonna do it myself, even though I know I can easily win it. Uh, but just to minimize the casualties. Mm, not the best victory. 159 lost, so 700 remaining. Uh, but uh, we cleaned up them pretty damn well, I would say. So we shouldn't be too worried. Ooh, he actually besieged, but did not attack. Okay, oh yeah, we might be able to deal with that crap. Oh my god, could you leave my ports alone? Oh my god, we gotta start conquering India quicker. <laughs> There's starting to be a pain in the butt, man. Fucking bastards. <laughs> god damn it. And the Russians too, I having to repair everything they wreck. Let's see, can we see what kind of... No, we can't really see what the fuck's going on there. Fleet arrived. Oh yeah, that's uh, a little bit of reinforcements over here. Let's see if we can't uh, root these guys out with the army in here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, nice. Repair and bring the army back and put these guys in there and these guys on patrol. Looking pretty good. 
Nice, okay, let's see. We should be able to take over some stuff down here as well now. Well, these guys actually have a little bit of an army. Whoa, medicine men, elite infantry. What the, what the fuck? I kind of almost want to see what the hell that is. Armed tribesmen mob. <laughs> Lol. Oh, I can't actually check them completely. Okay, maybe I can in battle. Okay, let's let's see. Well, shit, they actually have a fort, which is quite interesting. They even have cannons. What the fuck? But <laughs> they fight. They fight pretty much nude. Well, what the fuck kind of nation is that? I don't even know, man. That's that's weird. I <laughs> uh, actually noticed something. The riflemen that have the very long range. They're quite good, since they're actually so nice, they're actually killing off a bunch of the savages up on the walls before my men even got up there. Look at this. A bunch of them are already dead. Uh, but uh, I think their melee was like... Oh god, nine or something? So I bet mine are just better in overall. Like, defense and melee was like nine on these guys, so they should be pushovers and there's only 60 per group compared to my groups that are most of them pretty big numbers look at this guy look at this guy right here he has no bayonet everyone else has bayonets what the fuck happened man did you fuck up did you use it as a butt plug did you use your bayonet as a butt plug i don't know what the fuck <laughs> animations man fucking hilarious <laughs> Some funny ass goddamn shit, man. And the savages are beaten. <laughs> Close victory. <laughs> I think not. Maybe because I wasted a bunch of men. Yeah, I lost 216 men, man. My, come on, man. That's that's some pushover shit right there. Ooh, a little bit of logging as well. That might be good. Okay, we're gonna repair that. And uh, I guess let's... Uh, oh, okay. What the fuck? Why can't I? Oh, because it's broken. I can't hire any men. Well, crap. That kind of stinks. Oh, yeah. uh, our navy is in perfect condition anyway, so it don't matter. Oh, there's spices here as well. That's good. Spices are one of the most uh, valuable things. 24 per, per like, crate. Then tobacco. Then, I guess, it's uh, cotton. Then coffee and then ivory. Uh, sugar, tea and furs are the least. And that's the stuff I have the most of, actually. 37,000 in trade now, though. God damn. Oh, yeah, shit, I forgot. We should <laughs> lower the taxes here in the, the Mercus. Uh, wait, what? Why doesn't these count? Oh, there's been a rebellion here, I think. Yeah, they're they're a little bit pissed, but that should go over soon. I'm, st yeah, I'm recruiting a little bit more Town Watch, so that's good. Army, army, recruiting. Yeah, recruiting there as well. Oh, yeah, the Mercus are pretty shitty. Shitty minister. Maybe we should put someone better in power. And this one had more stars, but he also has like a harsh reputation. But hell, I mean, that is, should be pretty good though. Uh, we really need a better head of state though. We're getting like no wealth or, or prestige barely at all. And uh, she's doing pretty good. Pet hermit. <laughs> Fuck honest. Yeah, well, that's good. Fuck, man, she, she's... Mm, I would tap that. Wait, what the fuck? Age 62? Holy shit, she looks good for being 62. She got a, she got a fucking follow. Three love pin. That's not there. Uh, she's gonna die soon, I think. Well, okay, maybe they're too small to, like, really notice, but... Uh, yeah. uh, don't matter though, looking good, looking good. Fuck, man, where's... I, <laughs> I started this series uh, just... I was just gonna mind my own business, just own the stuff around uh, Östersjön, or the Baltic Sea as it's called in English, but uh, too many fucking nations started wars with me, man, and uh, don't start when you can't finish. Oh, Prussia is also doing pretty goddamn well. Uh, they're taking a lot of shit, though, and uh, the Polish Lithuania sort of seems to be kind of attacking. Well, okay, yeah, it's stuff looking pretty good. Oh, crap. Seriously, again? What the fuck? Okay, at least we have a lot of dudes to send after those guys, we're, and we're gonna fucking do it too, man. I'm sick of their shit, man. Sick of their goddamn shit. 
Sons of bitches. But I think that's gonna be it for today's episode. Uh, hopefully you're gonna see another one quite uh, quickly. As always, thank you guys so very much for watching. If you enjoy these, uh, remember YouTube algorithms, blah, 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 like, comment. You know, you know what to do. As always, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.